Today I'm going to show you how to deploy Big IP Virtual Edition, or VE, in Amazon Web Services. This is a simple, single NIC, single IP deployment, which means that both management traffic and data traffic are going through the same NIC and are accessible with the same IP address. You can do a deployment with multiple NICs, and I'll link to documentation for that in the YouTube notes, but for now I'm going to focus on this simple scenario. There is one prereq, and that's that you'll need a key pair in AWS, and again I'll add a link in the YouTube notes. But let's get started. In the AWS console, go to VPC, Start VPC Wizard, and choose a VPC with a single subnet. Give it a name and click Create VPC. This virtual private cloud is your own little network where, in my example, I'm going to have both my Big IP VE and an app server. Now let's deploy Big IP. Go into EC2 and click Launch Instance. Now type F5 in the search box. You can choose hourly or bring your own license, also known as BYOL. And um, if you need a trial license, I'll put a link in the YouTube notes for how you can get one. Now pick an instance type. Ensure my VPC is selected. Accept default storage. And then I like to give my instance a name by setting a tag and the value. Now for the security group, I'm going to edit the default rules slightly. So 22 is for SSH access to Big IP, uh, but I want to tell AWS that only I can do this. So I'm going to pick my IP from the list, and it populates my public IP address, which I've hidden here. Um, and then 8443 is to connect to the Big IP web interface so I can manage Big IP. And I also just want this to be just for me. 443 is for my application server traffic, and anyone on the internet can access my app, so I'm going to leave it open. But if your app is internal to your organization, then you'd put your internal range here. Then review, and pick my key pair, and then launch. Now it's going to take about 10 minutes for the instance to be fully functional. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and create an Elastic IP address. And this IP is public, and it's static, and it stays associated with the instance even after I restart the instance. So I'm going to create it, and then I associate it with the instance. OK, I waited 10 minutes, and now I'm ready to set my admin password, which I'll need to log in. So I copy the Elastic IP. And then I use PuTTY to connect using the key that I specified when I initially deployed. Then I run modify auth password admin to set the password. And then save sysconfig to save it. Now I can use HTTPS with the Elastic IP and port 8443 to connect to Big IP. Now I license Big IP by putting in my trial key. If you chose hourly, you don't have to do this step. Now the next thing I want to show you is, again, in Big IP VE 12.1 and later, uh, in this single NIC configuration, you don't need to create a VLAN and a self-IP. They're created automatically for you. If you're already familiar with how to configure Big IP, you can stop watching now. But if you're interested to see how traffic goes through Big IP to my web server, then keep watching for just a few more seconds here. I'm going to pause the video and launch a Windows instance with a simple web page running on it. OK, now I've got my web server. I grab its private IP address. I go into Big IP and I create a pool. I choose HTTPS. Enter the address here, and click Finished. Now I create a virtual server. I need to get the private IP of Big IP, and now I specify it as the destination. I choose the HTTP profile, client SSL, server SSL, SNAT auto map, choose the pool, and click Finish. Now, final step, I'm going to grab the Elastic IP address, and then you can see that my very simple website is available on port 443. So Big IP and my website are accessible from the same IP address, but different ports. 
For details on this and other configurations, see the YouTube notes. And we also have CloudFormation templates on GitHub that you can use to deploy BigIP for you. So check those out too. Thanks for listening and have a great day.